What's going on YouTube? Happy Saturday. I have a video for you today. And I think you're going to find this one pretty interesting. I'm going to call this one. Do you even know what sacrifice is? You see, every now and then I get these guys that, that, that contact me and say, hey, I have this bright business idea, right? Never been in business before, just have a bright business idea, want to start, and they say, do you have any money that you want to invest with me? And here's the funny thing. Sometimes I get offended by that. I'm going to tell you why. When this guy right here that you're looking at that's holding his camera started, I had no one <clears throat> to give me money. Um, it just wasn't an option. No one around me had money. But I knew that I wanted to do something. So I knew in order for me to make this happen, I have to start where I'm at now. I remember sitting at swap meets in freaking Phoenix in the summertime, June, with this phrase, un per cinco, dos per ocho. I had to learn Spanish phrases in order to sell. I sold whatever I had an opportunity to sell and wouldn't make much money. My wife didn't have the job at the time because she quit her job saying, I'm going to do this with you because she saw something that I didn't see. And she would sit on one end and I would sit on the other end and we would sweat and we'll ask ourselves many times, why are we doing this? And a lot of times I couldn't give the real answer why we're doing this. I just knew that the job was not the way to go. The books that I've been reading has told me the job is not the way to go and they've been successful. And, and by the time I kept saying it, my wife was like, look, I'm tired of listening to these books. There was even one time my wife had said, you know what, I'm gonna go start bartending. Cause I know when I was in college, I made a lot of money there. But then when she made that statement, something clicked and this is what clicked. I told myself, Abdul, if your dream of a business is actually going to come true, you only have a limited amount of time. But that statement put the pressure in my heart, woke me up, and then I started thinking outside of the box even more to the point where we stopped doing the swap meets and then we started doing great things, more great things, and then the money just started flowing in all of a sudden, basically because of that statement that my wife had said, because I knew that once she started working that job, I was done. Then later on, I was gonna have to work with job because I couldn't really get the business the way it wanted to go by myself. I knew I needed my wife. It jump-started the question for me. But I said that to say this, guys, if you out there, you haven't had any sacrifice, you haven't done any type of sacrifice, you just kinda, I want to start a business and I want to sit in my air-conditioned house or my office and I want to start a business and we're going to make some money. No. Mostly guys who are sitting there right now at desk and are millionaires or whatever, they rolled up their sleeves one day and they got in there and made it happen. They made it happen. You have to make it happen. No one's going to do it for you. You shouldn't expect anyone to do it for you. Why do you want to take the easy way out? I don't like people in my presence who like to take the easy way out of things. I like people that can get down in the trenches when it's time to get dirty and get dirty. Those are the people I like to hang around with. I like motivated people. Motivated people. That's what I like. So what makes you think that someone needs to give you something in order for your dream to come true. You, you hear what I just said? Your dream, not their dream, your dream. It doesn't happen. So here's my advice to you. You wanna start a business? You wanna do something great? You make it happen. Stop asking. If you, you start asking, you might as well just sit on a freaking uh, sidewalk with a sign saying you <laughs> saying what you'll work for because here's here's why you need to work by yourself here's why you need to make those mistakes in the beginning because you're going to learn 
it's going to build that strong foundation because once you go through all those problems and you really get your business thriving, you're at the PhD level when it comes to business. These little MBAs that people get at, at school, whatever, that's not business. You think you're spending twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars and you getting an MBA? You don't know business. You don't know business until you're in it. You don't know business outside of business. You see what I'm saying? Anyone can read a textbook and this is what it no. You don't know business until a customer comes to you and tell you to F off <laughs> because your product is not good enough. And you have to figure out of why you shouldn't curse that person out and how can you deliver a great product to that person. That's business. Business is not shivering up and, and afraid in certain situations. It's to be able to, to make that customer come in with a smile and leave with a smile every time. You have to become an excellent people person. Totally. Because you're in the business of serving people. So... I'm going to leave it as that, guys. I think you guys know where I'm coming from. Please subscribe. Some of you guys out there in the sacrifice mode or some of you guys out there who want to just have people invest in your idea and you've never touched business, let's hear about it. So, with that said, guys, thank you guys for watching the channel. Please subscribe. And until next time, signing off.